Right, team. Today we're going to be building an exercise trail. We'll be building five places where people can stop and do keep fit exercises at different areas around this park. So, we're going to start... <sighs> huh? Hi, Sky. Hi, oh. Team Bob. Everyone revved up and ready to build the exercise trail? Yes. Yes. yes! That's the sporting spirit! But how will people know what exercises to do, Sky? Well, signs like this will show people what to do. See? This shows someone walking along a balance beam like this one. Ah! But why are we building them in different places and not all together in the same place? So people can run from one exercise to the next, Dizzy. It really gets you puffing and panting and your muscles working. Wow! And people can do all this? Of course! People can do anything if they try. You should always push yourself to the limits and never <sighs> be scared to try something new. Wow! I would love to try something new. Do something I've never done before. Anyway, I'm running to Riverdale and back today. And after that, I can try out the exercise trail. <gasps> I can't wait! <gasps> Right, team, you heard Skye. She'll be back later and we've got an exercise trail to build. And I have to find something to do that I've never done before. Can we build it? Yes, we can! I've drilled all the holes at the other sites ready for the rest of the build, Bob. Great. Thanks, Scoop. Have you finished that chin-up bar, Leo? Yes, Bob. I'm just going to give it a quick test. Go, Leo! That's the sporting spirit. <laughs> right. So... We've got the press-ups and the monkey bars to do next. And then we'll finish off with the parallel bars. Scoop, as you finish the holes, Leo can help you put your rear bucket back on now. Will do. No problem, Bob. Oh, no! Uh-oh. No! The hoops! Now what have I done? Roly, what's going on? I've crashed into the dugout and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Roly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Roly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech too. Oh, no. Not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking. Rolling and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. the gravel was packed down, we moved on to stage four, the asphalt. Um, um... Which Bob and Wendy spread out using rakes. And I... Uh... 
rolled nice and flat, like this. In stage five, Bob and Wendy painted the lines which mark out the court. Then, finally, they put up two new basketball hoops. And that is the end of my speech. Well done! Brilliant! Well done! Brilliant, Roly! That was great! Thanks, Roly! I really, really, really want to be a builder now. Thanks, Sappy. But I only remembered what to say because Bob was giving me hand signals. But I only gave you two signals. You did all the rest yourself. Really? Did I? Wow! Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like like this one. Okay, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm gonna go. I'm going now. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. <laughs> Scoop! This way, Scoop. Slowly does it. Now, tell us what happened. I saw a dinosaur skeleton, Bob, at the gates. It was st 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 staring right at me. <laughs> oh, Scoop. No, you saw the Model T Rex skeleton, that's all. Teuton has just delivered it. Oh, oh, it really scared me. Actually, Bob, I've been scared all day, to be honest. But I didn't want to say anything because I wanted my friends to think I was brave. Scoop, it's OK to be scared. I still think you're brave. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Now, do you see, things are never really scary. Like the hedgehog and the wind. We just imagined that they were scary. Exactly. Now, come on. Visitors will be arriving soon and we've got a boneyard to finish. Great. Now we just need to fix the crow's nest back on and we're done. Hang on. There's only half of it here. Where has the other half gone? Uh, it was here earlier when I was talking to Scoop about how he's been collecting things. Scoop? Collecting things? Oh, no. You don't think he could have taken it, do you, Lofty? Uh, well, uh, I suppose, um... Hello, Mr. Bentley. Ah, oh, hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'll be along soon to see that lovely ship all fixed up. Uh, OK. Great. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Bentley. Right. We really do need to find Scoop. And fast. I can't find Scoop anywhere, Bob. OK, thanks, Leo. Keep searching. Mark! Oh, hello, Bob. Mark, 
Do you know where Scoop is? Uh, I know where he might be. Scoop! Huh? There you are. Hi, Bob. Listen, we need that crow's nest. Crow's nest? What's a crow's nest? That's a crow's nest. It belongs on the mast of the ship. We need it. Oh, I thought it was going to be recycled. It's an important part of the ship, Scoop. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I should have checked before I took it. Well, yes, you should always check. But never mind now. Let's take it back and fix it to the mast. Steady. Hold it there. Perfect. Oh, hello, Gull. You helped me find that strange ball. I wonder where it came from. Ah, the ball! So that's where it came from. Bob, this mast is missing its ball from the top. It is? Yes, you're right, Scoop. It is. I know where it is. I'll go and get it. OK, but be quick. Mr Bentley will be here any moment. Okay. Phew. <gasps> oh, look, they really love it. So do I. Well done, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. No prob. <gasps> Pilchard! Oh, you were supposed to be looking after her, Scoop. I said it was a bad idea. What's she doing here? Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, it's all my fault, Bob. What happened was Tell that... me later, Scoop. Right now, we need to get her out of there. But how? We can't go in while the bears are there. It's not safe. Maybe I could lift my bucket over the fence. That way she could climb in. Pilchard! Here go! Pilchard! Oh, think, Scoop. What does Pilchard like? I know! Quick, Bob, we need fish! Brilliant, Scoop. I just got some ready for the penguin's lunch. Uh... Stop! Oh, no! Oh, Look over please here! Please don't hurt Pilchard! Lower your bucket, Scoop! Fishy, fishy! There's fish for you! Uh-oh. I forgot bears love fish too. Come on, Pilchard. Yes! Oh, you silly cat, Pilchard. I thought that bear was going to hurt you. Sorry, Bob. I should have known a building site wasn't a safe place for a pet. Especially not a site full of wild animals, Scoop. But I'm just so relieved she's safe. I brought her to work because Safi said she took her dog to school and... Hey! Safi's class is coming to the zoo this afternoon. We need to work extra fast to clear up. Yes, please. I really need to open the zoo now Pilchard's safe. Right. Let's go, team. Where they'll be safe. Hi, 
Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. OK, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go. Oh. Yes, this place looks nice and safe. A little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Uh, not sure. Uh, an aeroplane? <laughs> OK. Lower your winch now. right out, Bob. <laughs> I can't hold it. What? Oh! Lofty, are you all right? <laughs> no, Bob. I can't move at all. What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it. But I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. <sighs> no, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me. And then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny. But maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, Two-Ton. Time for some tower power. Steady, Tiny. Whew! Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> Hello down there! Whee! OK. Here goes. How exciting. Yeah! One crane for delivery to Curtis. Ready to go, Lofty? Ready to go. Drive on, Tutan. While you're gone, would you like me to put in some sections for you? Oh, uh, yes, please, Tiny. That would be a big help. Uh, uh, Mark! What on earth have you got in your damper? Oh, uh, it's uh, manure, Sky. It makes the flowers and, um... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go. Oh. It's, it's at the back of my eyes. Oh, no. It's the Spring City Rockets. I don't want them to smell me as well. I think I'll go the long way round. Maybe if I go fast enough, no one will notice the stinky smell. Uh, yeah. Huh? Right. Uh. Thanks, Lofty. There we are. That's out of sight, isn't it? No. I can still see it. What if we put it right next to the shed? You'll hardly see it at all there. Mm, but I'll still be able to see it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right place for it. Up we go again, Lofty. Hmm. I think closer. Here. No, 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 no. Further away. OK. As long as you're sure. Oh, no. No. Mm. No. No. Maybe over, over there. there. Huh? What? I think further away. Oh, no. Closer. Further away. Closer. Oh. Nearly there. Oh, no. It's Philip. I don't want him to think that I'm stinky. Don't worry, Mum. <gasps> Slow down, Mark. <laughs> Be careful, Mark. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh! 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 What on earth is going on? 
I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't like it when people thought I was smelly. So I went a really long way round so people couldn't smell me. And then I, I got late and in a real rush and then I... <laughs> it's all right, Mug. It's all right. And you're not smelly. It's just the manure. Yes, Mug. And we'll give you a good wash when you get back to the yard. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And after that, you'll smell as fresh as one of Mayor Madison's roses. Oh, well, no turnips for me. Oh, at least the beds for my flowers are still all right. Of bits of wood in the barn. What should I do with them? They're not just pieces of wood, Scoop. They're pieces of an old apple press for making apple juice. Put them to one side for now. OK. Uh-oh. Careful, Scoop. Uh -oh. Careful, Lofty. Uh-oh. Careful, Mug. <laughs> Silly goose. Oh, no. We made it rain apples. Don't panic, guys, but try to be more careful. Chef Tatty will be upset if he doesn't have any apples left to store in the barn. I promise. Right, too. OK, Wendy. Muck, will you go and see if Leo needs any help with the fence? OK, Bob. Oh, I don't want to squash any more apples. I'll go a different way. Hello, Flame. Oh, no, Flame. Look what I did. I can't leave those lying around for Chef Tatty to see. He might get upset. Better tell Leo about that. But first, I'll find somewhere out of the way to put these apples. Aha! They'll be nice and safe there. Hi, Leo. Sorry, but I accidentally broke a fence near Flames Field. Oh, no problem, Muck. I'll go and fix Flame's fence if you take these bits of wood away. It's a deal. What? But when did I knock all of those apples down? Is something wrong, Muck? Uh, no. Everything's OK, Leo. Hey, Muck! Let's give it a test drive. Conveyor belt? What's that for? <laughs> it's to move the food around the restaurant, Scoop. Ready, steady. Lunchtime builders. Toot, toot. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Mmm, fabulous, Chef Tatty. This is my favourite kind of dining. Last chance for lunch, Bob. <laughs> bon appetit. OK, I'll try this one. Mm. What do you think, Bob? tatty licious. Hey! <laughs> <sighs> Well, Scoop, what do you think of the conveyor belt? I think it's magical. Hmm. I can't believe Sylvan pulled that rabbit out of his head. Now that's proper magic, that is. Ha! That's not magic. This is magic. Behold! The colour-changing balls of mystery. Green, red, blue and purple, all sitting on the uh, uh, table. Abracadigger, Alakazala. Um, come on. Hmm. Make the balls change their colour. Orange. Whoa. Wow. Uh, that actually 
actually is quite a good trick, Scoop. Ah, oh, yes. It's brilliant. Do it again, Scoop. Yes, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, OK, then. Africa Jigger, Alacom... Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down! Whoa! What have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can fix it in time. So, team, let's get to work. Yes. You can dig out the line of uprights nearest the slipway. There's not so much seaweed there, but you must still be very careful. Yes! Oh, I will, Bob. Promise. Fantastic mode! Whoa, whoa! Oh, that was lucky. Right, it's digging time at last. Oh, oh, oh. Bob was right. This is really slippy. Oh, slipping, slipping, slipping! Oh! Glad you could join in, Scoop. Thanks, Stretch. Ew. There, one jetty finished. One more to go. Oh no! Stretch is almost finished. I have to work faster. Oh, but it's too slippery to dig properly. Three rows, all done. Great work, Stretch. One row left. Would you like me to help you, Scoop? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, thanks, Stretch. I can finish it. No problem. OK, you've got it. Bob, I'm ready for my pile driver. Oh. Whoa! Uh, Scoop, aren't you digging a bit too wide and a bit too deep? No, it's spot on. My digging is never wrong. Hmm. I'm not so sure. <laughs> there you go, Stretch. Oh, thanks, Bob. Great. Now I'm ready to pound in those uprights. Ooh, those are deep holes, Scoop. They're really wide. No, they are not, Muck. They're just fine. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Whoa. See? All done. See how these fit. One of mine. Yes, perfect. And one of scoops. Oh, that can't be right. Maybe the pole's bent. But try another one of mine, Stretch. Dear, that is not good. Look up there! It's like the snow's made a kind of cliff. That looks really cool. Oh yeah, it does. Anyway, it's time I got back to Wendy. No way! Hold on, Tread. Watch me first. I want to do a spin like the one you just did. Still think you can be king of the road, do you? Off you go then. Surprise me. I will. Watch this. Here comes a really mega. Super Skate! Oh, was that it? No, no. Stay there, Tread. That was just a practice. Right, here comes the real thing. Go on, then. Last chance. Over here, Scoop. 
soup. Oh, thank goodness. Are you okay? Well, kind of. Oh, dear. I can't move. I'm completely stuck. Hold on. I'll dig you out. Oh, I'm sorry, Tread. The, there's loads of snow. The, this is going to take ages. But you won't be able to get all the way over here without snow chains anyway, Scoop. Find Wendy. She'll know what to do. Yes. OK. Good idea. I won't be long. Quick as you can, no way. It's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried down this hill. The avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread, I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. <laughs> Could you hurry up, please? I'm a bit, uh... <laughs> Is it over there? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, my cheers, Leo. Uh, no worries. Right. Oh, not the phone again. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Hi, Chef Tutty. Oh. Is everything OK? I'm not sure, Bob. Do you have any idea where Tread is? Yes, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can, or my fish could go off and be ruined? I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, OK, great, Bob. Bye. I've got to roll. No, wait, Tread. Come back. Chef Tatty's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going off. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. No. Ah, Tread. There you are. Sorry I'm late, Chef Tatty. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Hmm. It doesn't smell off. <gasps> In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> huh? Hmm. Hello? Hi, Wendy. It's Chef Tatty. Are you by any chance staring at a fish? What on earth's going on? Sir Bob, you've got the control panel and Chef Tatty has the tiles. And Wendy has the fish, which will be spoiled soon if it isn't refrigerated. And someone still needs to pick up Leo in the cupboard and drop them off at the sushi bar. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. I should have told you. I was getting too busy. It's not your fault, Tread. Wendy and I should have picked up the right boxes. Well, I still try to do too much, and I wouldn't let anyone help. Oh. Uh. Woohoo! Anything I can do to help, Leo? Bob's put me in charge of building a giraffe house at the zoo. A giraffe house? Can I help, Leo? Can I? Oh, of course, Lofty. I expect it will be a really tall building, so I'll need your help. Come on, the sooner we collect up the materials, the sooner we can get started. Yay! OK, so I need six pieces of two by six. Six? 
That's not very many. Mm, that's what it says on the plan. And Bob knows best. <laughs> yes, that's right. He does. And 20 pieces of 2 by 4 four cinder blocks, plywood sheeting, brackets, screws, hinges. No, that's 4 by 8 Oops, sorry. Too much to carry. We'll get Shred to help us out. Did somebody mention my name? Oh! Hi, guys! Hi, Hi. Judy. This is so exciting! I've seen Bob's plans and they looked brilliant. Ah, Bob's the best. So, one giraffe house coming up. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Alright! All done. This is one tidy office. I think Wendy will be very impressed. Sorry, Bob, but I am sorting it out. Yes, it does look a bit messy. It's like I always say, a workplace needs to be kept tidy. Oh, is that what you always say, Bob? Ah, oh. <laughs> hello, Wendy. I, uh, I was just, um, I finished the office. Yay! I've just seen it. Good job. Thanks. Told you I'd fix it. Hello, Tred. What's up? I think you'd better come along to the zoo, Bob. We've got a little problem. Uh-oh. Is this where the Christmas party's going to be, Bob? Is it? Is it? Yes, Lofty. Mr. Bentley said he would meet us here. Ah, oh, Bob, there you are at last. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I think the party centrepiece should go right here, don't you? Great idea. We'll build the giant sleigh in no time, Mr. Bentley. Wonderful. I love Christmas Eve. Oh, and of course, there's all the extra bits to do as well. Did he say extra bits? Uh-oh. And so, we need to arrange the snow scene, the tree, and put up all these lights. I ordered hundreds. This will be the best Christmas party Fixum has ever had, all the way along the seafront as far as the galleon. That's all going to take some time to put up. But, but, it's Christmas, Wendy. We'll make sure Fixum gets its Christmas party, Mr Bentley. And it will be the best ever. Thank you, Bob. OK, team. Let's get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. The sleigh looks great, Bob. But what colour will it be? Well, I was going to paint it red. Oh, and gold. Huh? Yes, can it be red and gold? Uh, <laughs> of course. You really do love Christmas, don't you, Mr Bentley? Yes, ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of having the best possible Christmas party. Now, we need more snow and more lights. Wow, Mr. Bentley is so excited. <laughs> he is. But then who isn't? Uh oh, 
Mr. Bentley's coming. Oh, no. Do you think he'll want to change things again? Oh, Leo! Uh, ho, 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 Mr. Bentley! Excellent Christmas spirit, Leo. Now, how about stringing lights from these candy canes right up to the galleon's mast? Uh, we could do that, but we've hung so many already. Don't worry, we've got plenty more. Oh! I can't control it, Bob! Wow! Oh! Oh, no! <gasps> I can't hold it! your big moment. Well done. My camera drone! Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I've ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. OK. Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera is OK, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And, Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. Whew! <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either, especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one! So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey? Chili Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I am ready for my big mo... Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you can! can. Oh, yes, you can. 